Hello all and welcome to a, another pickups video and today I've got for you what is for me round three of the Music Magpie Roulette that is one for sorrow, two for joy, a series created by my good friend Sean of Retro Games Revived, link in description. So I bought eight more Xbox 360 games off them, I've been hunting in their sales and I've been picking off some of the cheap ones that I still need. Now four of these were in the two for three pound deal and the other four were in a four for eight pound deal and that means I spent 14 pounds in total on these. Now for me that's a bargain because Music Magpie do actually give you free postage so 14 pounds is all I've paid for these to turn up. Now if I was to order these eight games off CEX they would charge me £1.95 delivery per game and that comes to about £15.60 I believe without paying any money for the games. So you buy the games off Music Magpie for cheaper than the postage cost from CX and I must admit I think the games as a total from CX are probably cheaper to buy but it's the postage where you really win out and the facts they guarantee a refurb on the disc. But anyway that's enough talking. Let's crack into these Xbox 360 games. Like I said, I was shopping in the cheaper end of the market. I was in the deal, so there are a couple of sports titles there. But they're actually sports titles I'm happy to pick up because, like I've said in the past, I am finding the cheaper end sports titles, or the early sports titles is what I meant to say there, especially the American sports ones, are actually harder to find in the wild nowadays. So I'm actually really pleased to pick some of those off. But anyway, that's plenty of talking now. Let's... Uh, Open this up. So all I've done with this is taken my dress off. That was where it was. So yeah, that's all I've done in preparation. This is coming off nice and easy. Relatively says, there we go. We are in. We are in. And there we go. Nice and tightly packed in there. And game one. And talking about the cheap sports titles, game one is one. So NHL 08. And that appears to be a superbly nice crisp case there. We've got, even got the foil sticker on it. So what I am looking for in all of these is basically a good case. Uh, the right case, as I've seen in one of Sean's videos lately, he uh, had a PlayStation 2 game turn up in a clear case, which clearly wasn't a PS2 case because it didn't have a memory card holder inside. That's a, a good indication of where it's a correct PS2 case. But obviously, we, we all know that the Xbox 360 cases are basically this lovely coloured green, and yeah, that's pretty much it, really, and a DVD case. But there we go. So we've got NHL 08, and as I say, this is a nice, clean, crisp case. doesn't appear to be broken anywhere and if we open it up we're hoping to see them. oh yeah like a spy through this do my new normal trick there using the, the little bit of transparency that these cases have to spy that it does indeed have a manual wow that just gets really plain isn't it it's like yeah we'll put the game on it we'll sort of stick it in the top corner put all the other gump we need on it and not bother with the picture and there's that fella there i don't know who that is but it's nice to have a nice clean crisp manual We've no stickers on the front of it, so it's not been in game in its life and been attacked by them and had a sticker slapped on the front. So this can go in the two for joy pile. And um, we'll put the joy pile over here, I think. So hopefully I'll have a nice stack next to me, and then I'll put all the, the sorrows on out of sight on top of the Mega Drive games here because yeah, we don't really want to see the sorrows too much, do we? So next game up is oh god, what was I just talking about? About wrong cases. And uh, yeah, and all the Xbox ones come in green cases. Actually, that's not technically 100% true. There is a range of classics which come in a grey case, but that's more of a silver grey. And this is definitely a black case. So this game has had a case replacement. It feels light as well. So I am worrying about a lack of manual. But at the moment, it's a sorrow anyway because it's uh, failing on the case. Now, I can change the case. I've got plenty of case replacements. So we can recover this to a joy, but for the purpose of this video it's already going in sorrow as long as it's got a manual i don't mind i don't mind but it feels light and of course it's got no manual as well didn't check the disc of the first one because i say they refurb all their discs they come with a refurb guarantee we'll have a quick look at this one and that is spotless so that's why i'm not checking discs so it's pretty much all about cases and manuals and this one has failed on both i can't believe i was talking about sean and he's wrong case. And then lo and behold, the next one I pull out is 100% definitely a wrong case. It's literally just the colour that is wrong. Because that, that maker there, you'll notice, is in a lot of Xbox 360 cases. That Amaray, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's literally just the wrong colour. But that's very important when you've got a whole rack full of them. And you want them all to look the same and be complete properly. Anyway, next game. Game number three we have is... Eragon, Eragon, 
How do you pronounce that? Look at all those people there. So this case here, looking very... Oh, there we go. Look, transparency, already spying a manual. Loving it. Loving it. And the case is feeling super nice as well. It's another very crisp case. Not even many blemishes or any blemishes on the plastic. No digs or anything like that. Loving that. So, yeah, 100% confirmed that the manual is in there by opening it. Doesn't look like any stickers have been put on the front by game. So this is a very... Very good win. This is 100% a joy. So two for joy. One for sorrow, two for joy. So you can join NHL 08 over here and put the joys back in the lead by two games to one. So this is the first pile because there's been two piles of four in the bag here. And this is Risen. And the first thing my eyes drawn to is this thing up here, only on Xbox 360 and Windows. I've got Risen 2, but obviously I haven't got Risen 1, which is why I bought it. Risen 2 is like an open-world pirate game, I think. This looks a lot different, which people are talking about. This feels nice and weighty, so I'm feeling a manual already. And, yeah, there doesn't appear to be any damage to the casing, so this is already feeling like 100% joy as well. Just confirm that the manual is in there. And I'm seeing this. What's this? Oh, the uh, it's got a little bit of damage to it. I was just about to say I can't see any stickers on it, which which I can't. Ah, uh, there we go. Look, look. Using the lights to my advantage. Yeah, you can just make out there was a sticker there, and someone's done a bad job of removing it. I wish they'd have just left it and left me out. Let me have a go at it now. But nice, nice. That it's got a manual. It's going to say apart from that one blemish. It's literally that blemish there is the only thing wrong with that manual. Everything else about it is crisp. So I'll just leave my thumb there for the rest of my life. It'll be fine. But there we go, we've got a disc. Let's just do another disc check, I was going to say. Just sort of random disc checks because they should all be fine. We'll just pick on a, cu a couple and we've done that now. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at those oh, solid clicks there. That's passed a click test, hasn't it? So there we go. Nice case, manual, clean disc. Everyone's a winner. So 3-1 to the joys. And to go deep down into the, into the bubble mailer there. And we've got section 8. And this is feeling like in good conditions. A little, a few little bits and sort of uh, nicks there on the plastic. But yeah, Christ, it's a pre-owned game that's over 10 years old. What do you expect? So that's cool. There's nothing. That's fine. This case is a pass. And there we go. Look, transparency again through. I can spy a manual. I can feel it in the weight that that was in there already as well. So I, it's actually, it looks very interesting, doesn't it? I must admit, I've seen this one about. I know it's a very cheap game if you can find it out in the wild or in CX. And yeah, it's always sort of grabbed my interest. Well, it's got big robots in it. Why wouldn't it? So yeah, we'll we'll have a confirmation that the manual is in there. We can check the condition of the manual as well. Quite a, quite a chunky manual. A couple of very light scuffings on the edge there. But Jesus Christ, for a, for a pre-owned game of age. That is a lovely manual there, so loving that as well. So that one is a win as well. So that means 50% of them are now wins with only one sorrow just hiding up here. Tom Clancy's Hawks. Okay, so yes, on to game. What game are we on to? On to game number six. And we've got another cheap sports title. I think it's the only other cheap sports title that I bought. It used to be in Game Station once upon a once upon a time in its life. We've got the foil sticker below it, so ho hopefully you can move that off without damaging the foil sticker that it's over. Because that's that's the one thing about these cheap sports titles is we can do case changes if they get battered, but a lot of them had foil stickers on, so it's cool to keep them for that. This does feel light as well. Did actually own this once upon a time, and the reason why I don't have it anymore is because I got the Easy Gamer Score out of it and moved it on, but I got the Easy Gamer Score out of it before they... Oh, sorry, after they closed the server. So there's one achievement that I can't get. The other 940 or 960, can't remember the exact total. Really easy. That last one achievement, which is 40 or 60G, requires online. And I couldn't get it because it wasn't available anymore. But anyway, that's enough talking. As I said, this is worryingly feel, feeling light. So there's, there we go. <laughs> there was the seal from the, from the edge of it. Why didn't you put it in the bin? Lazy people just stuck it to the back of the box. Case is perfect, but this is feeling very light. I can't... Can't see a manual through the sides. Getting very worried here. Very worried here. Oh, yeah, there we go. No manual. Dang. Okay. For the purpose of this video, I mean, it'll go on the shelves, this one, because it's in the correct case. At least. That one's just a double foul, so that one won't go into the collection officially. This, put that sideways where it falls down. This one will go on the shelves and be marked down as no manual. But for the purpose of this video and being critical as to what i want this is going to go in the sorrow pile 
because of a missing manual. And I know it does have a manual. This The early sports titles generally do up to a certain point. Okay, so game number seven. Don King presents Prize Fighter. And this, again, I'm feeling the plastic on this. This is feeling lovely. This is feeling in absolutely wonderful condition again. Doesn't appear to have any breaks. Wow, we can, <laughs> manual's got red on there. We can see that through the side there. So we know the manual's in there. We'll check the condition of that manual in a minute. But yeah, we can't argue with the case. Can't argue with the case. That's going to have a, a nice click about it. And oh, look at that. Click test passed as well. There we go. Manual. There we go. We knew the manual was in there. Manual. Yeah, lovely condition. It's quite fun. So far, do I put... Am I going to put the mockers on it with the last game if it has a manual? So far, every manual hasn't had a stick on it, and the one that did have a stick on it, someone removed and damaged, which is which is a good sticker to manuals ratio. There's a new thing, but there we go. Can't argue with that. So let's do another random disc test. Another random disc test. We'll pick on this one, and that is fine. It's got for some reason it's got a smudge finger mark on it, but that is actually clean. There's nothing wrong with that absolutely spotless so another cheapy one off the list and i was gonna say do you know what? i've uh, i've played one of the fight nights but i that's the i think it was round three i played that for achievements and then uh yeah got rid of that back in the day as well so this one uh, i've never played and i need to play another boxing game i've only ever played one on the 360 and that was because it was easy 1000g so we'll have to give don king prize fighter a bash which is going into the joy pile which means we are down to the last game, I think. Down to the last game, we are. We can get rid of that. Let's put put that away in a minute. And there we go. Escape from Dead Eye. Isn't that artwork really nice? This is worryingly feeling light as well. So case condition, looking good. Don't seem to be anything broken there. Plastic overall in general. Feels nice and smooth and not many... Not many blemishes on there. Yeah, that's feeling in good condition there. I'm liking this so far for, for case condition. But I, I'm, let's not spy the manual. Does it have a manual? It's a manual because it'll be a really thin manual if it does. And it does. There we go. Yeah, it's all oh, right. That's why it had no real weight to it. It's literally a four-page manual. But at least it's a four-page manual with actually something a bit of the game printed on it rather than one of those horrible EA4 pieces of EA4? EA pieces of paper. So there we go. Oh, I said A4 because it's a type of paper. How did that get into my brain? But there we go. So that one is complete as well. And that is, I, I love the, I do generally love the artwork on that. And I've never played Escape to Dead Island. I've played the first Dead Island, Dead Island and I really, really like it. Crafting all the weapons as such is just so much fun. So much fun. So there we go. That can go into this joy pile here, which means joy pile wise, we've got six out of eight. And 6 out of 8 is maths. Uh, 6 out of 8 is, what, 75%? 75% success rate. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. As I say, this is my sorrows here. The NBA Live game. And that's just because it's missing a manual. So that will just go into the collection as a placeholder. But that won't at all. Because, yeah, wrong case. No manual. I will probably... Get that again, sadly. So that one is a 100% fail. So there we go. We put it around like that. It's almost like the marker that says, look, win, win, win. This is where the, the, the fails start. So there we go. 75% success rate. Pretty pleased with that. As I say, I paid less for these than just the postage alone from CEX. So it's a nice way of getting a good deal, getting them delivered to your door and plucking off loads of the, uh, the cheaper titles in one hit as i say i did struggle to find them because i am i am hitting quite a high number of 360 games now i don't know the exact figure but with with recent purchases i'm going to go around about 650 i will try and include that number in the next video so ladies and gentlemen this has been for me round three of one for sorrow two for joy as i say the the name and the idea was created by my good friend sean of retro games revived who as of time of recording this particular video for me i think he's done four episodes and there's probably a fifth one just on the horizon so if you like this type of video and you want to see more than 360 games because i think he does p or he certainly does ps2 He's going for all Call of Duty games. And there is there is a little bit of variation in games over than just me doing 360 games. So please do check out Sean's channel. As I said, link's in the description. He's one of life's genuine top blokes. So please do go across and check his channel out. But for now, I think that is time for me to wrap this video up and say thank you very much indeed for watching. And as always, please do...
take care.